Couch Co-op and Twin Stick Games will always challenge you and your multitasking skills either by yourself or for you and your co-op partner. The Couch Co-op gameplay has always been a great test of your abilities to work together on solving puzzles and other challenges a game can come up with. And for this, Mercured is a great way to do it. You will be spending all of your time in a dark and desolated world where only one giant orb of light can be both your savior in difficult and challenging times, but also the very thing that makes you fail more times than one. But it's also here you get the feeling of great accomplishment when solving tricky puzzles and also a feeling of anticipation about what awaits you on the next level of the game. And if surviving is not enough, there is also a lot of hidden secrets waiting to be found to learn even more about in this unique game. Mörkered is both the Norwegian and Swedish word for being afraid of the dark, and it's during these 2-3 to three hours of gameplay you will not be so much afraid of the dark, but you will have found a new type of respect of stepping into someone else's shadow by mistake. In this dark and cold world there is an endless abyss of deadly shadows that conceals even more dangers that threatens your very existence. The key to staying alive is staying as close as possible to the orb at any time. Brought to life by the light you play as the two protectors of the orb and the light is yours to protect. Your task is to bring it along with you and it does not take long before realization sets in that moving the orb is, for the most of the part, your smallest concern. As you progress through the levels, the challenges will increase to test your wits and problem solving. But even later in the game, when that lingering feeling of safety and control starts to set in, you are abruptly reminded just how deadly shadows are when you accidentally step on the wrong side of the orb, killing one of the precious protectors. Don't expect a game that has two complex puzzles that will make you stuck over and over again. Mörkred relies more on timing, physics and you residing in the outer areas of the circle of the light with one protector to pull the levers while the other one keeps the orb in place. There are levers to pull, pressure plates to stand on, but as they start to feel easy to solve, Mörkred adds a new layer of challenges with swift unknown characters that pulls the levers to steer you into a more challenging path for your journey. But there is no backtracking to solve the puzzles, but there is a reward for daring to explore the full world instead of taking the direct path on every level. To showcase the impressive nature around you in this dark but beautiful world, even the storm howling will be against you as you move the precious orb through the world. Mörkered also has a more reactive threat, a threat in the form of a creature that lives in the darkness and awakens when you shine the light of the orb on it. These type of horned critters only goal is to destroy the orb and with no hints on how to vanquish them it took a couple of slightly stressful encounters of pushing the orb at max speed before the solution is clear on how to handle them. And perhaps when you play it over remote play or with your friend, partner or child this will be a more laid back playthrough with more discussions on how and why to move or pull certain items. But I would challenge you to play this on your own also since it adds a whole new level of challenge and experience. An experience that takes all of your focus and willpower to with one stick control the one closer to the orb while also navigating the other one in the outer area of the light where you can see the characters being hurt. All this without stepping in front of the other casting a shadow on them. To not make you totally lose your mind when playing it on your own, there is basically just three buttons to keep track of at any time. One button for every protector to interact with levers and things to help you solve the puzzles, and another button to switch between which of the characters you are controlling with the left and the right stick on the controller. Mörkered is not all darkness and surprise death for the protectors, it's a beautiful game that comes to life when all the shadows are dancing between the different objects in this world as you carefully move the orb ahead of you. 
There is even a part where you transport the orb by rowboat and lucky for us you also have to control the rowing while traveling between the puzzles. The music in the game adds to the already present feeling of loneliness and visiting an ancient world for the first time, holding a story that is long forgotten. And just as quick as the game starts, it's with a bit of sadness we reach the end of the journey. There is already a DLC out called Öde, meaning desolate, that adds more levels but also a lot of cosmetic items to the game. Worth it or not, it's up to you to decide. But Mörkred is an exciting addition to the twin stick genre that is mostly dominated by shooters for the quick action preference. But you know what? Let's not end this journey here. We have talked about the story, the awesome gameplay and the soundtrack and also what you will get if you decide to buy this game and play it. So to give you a chance to experience even more amazing indie games, I have added another video that I think that you will love to the upcoming end screen. So I will see you there and until next time, stay safe and stay awesome.